Hey everybody, Kevin here from the town of Kenfield, standing behind the camera, which is, uh, which is a good thing. I think most people would say I'm better off behind the camera than I am in front of it. So as most people know, we're opening our arena on Sunday. So we thought for the public and the ease of confusion, we would do a virtual walkthrough to show people what to expect. So as we approach, you know, we see the standard sign in the door. I won't read it all. It's also asking you for your mask. So I have my mask, mask goes on. As we enter, right, you see lots of new colors, okay, oh, floor signs and a welcome sign. One thing you're going to see lots of is hand sanitizing stations. So you'll see our first one right here. As you walk in, we ask that you sanitize your hands and proceed forward. At this point, we ask you to go left, okay. You're going to see a table here with some literature, information, brochures our floor plan for anybody interested. We've also got a little cheat sheet here. Hey, if you want a little cheat sheet to help you maneuver the building. After that, we have a reception desk. So every group that uses the facility has to have a reception desk where they come in and they screen you for basic COVID symptoms. Nothing, uh, nothing too big, but we're required to track the people that come and go from our building. So you'll, you'll receive the attendant. They will give you the green light to proceed or they'll ask you to leave one or the other. So again, Here's our washrooms. Okay, you'll see one person at a time, hand sanitizing station. So again, that's a change for our public washrooms. We're just allowing one at a time. So after we've done that, we're moving on. You'll see our floor stickers, social distance stickers, another sign, another hand sanitizing station. And we pursued, proceed in our first loop, which is down the hall. So you'll see chairs lined up down the hall. Those are uh, to assist parents that may need to support their kids with their gear and their skates. We've placed those 10 feet apart to give you lots of room. As we proceed down our loop, maximum occupancy 10. So we're allowing 10 people in our room at a time. So each group that rents the facility will get two dressing rooms assigned to their team. Okay, 10 per, and if there's overflow, they use the chairs. Again, another hand sanitizing station. Another error to show you go this way. So we're gonna walk down the hallway. Nice new colors. We're gonna go in one dressing room. We're not gonna go in the mall. Okay, so if we enter in dressing room two, you'll notice some dressing room rules posted there. You'll notice we've closed our washrooms. The, we're not allowing anybody to use the washroom facility within the dressing room. We have a designated bathroom for players that need to use the bathroom. So as we exit, continue down. Again, little chair area for people. You'll notice the arrows telling you to go this way. So what we're trying to do is create a loop here for traffic flow. Another arrow, another station there. As we continue down the hallway, More arrows. Again, every single room has one of those outside the door. Another occupancy sign. And another arrow telling you to go right. Okay? So you'll notice here the referee's room is now allocated to coaches only. We have exit only on these doors. You're not allowed to come in these doors. You have to exit the doors. This right here is the player washroom. This is where we'll uh, ask our players that need to use a facility, we'll ask them to go there. Okay, again, another arrow. Here we are at the other end of the arena, and you'll notice arrows on the bleachers. So this is the loop, okay? You come down the hall and you're coming back up. This is how we want the traffic flow to happen. So as you'll see, we are now in our bleachers. So we are allowing people to sit in the bleachers, but only in designated area and only 20. So if you were to sit in the bleachers, you're gonna come up, you're gonna see lines on the bleachers all the way down. Those lines are where we want you to sit or stand. We've also put signs here, no entry beyond this point. Okay, so if we continue down, okay, you'll see the entire row here has a line on it. So we ask you to sit there. You'll notice the distance between the glass and here. Again, that is what we feel will allow for flow and proper social distancing. Again, here's our bleachers. You'll see the yellow lines marked. You'll see the sign, no entry beyond this point. So, I am now a spectator. 
and I'm watching my child participate out here in the beautiful ice surface, okay, and I want to get out. Okay, now what do I do? We ask you in this case to exit right, head to the front entrance, and go. If your child is in a dressing room, we, again, we ask you to exit right, go back down the hallway, and find your child and exit through one of the two exit points, which is the front or the rear. Again, just a little layout. There's more directional arrows coming. So hey everybody, that's a little quick tour of our facility. Here I am standing in front of the uh, pretty cool mural that our own Jerry a little painted, so that gives something uh, for somebody to look at. Lots of stuff going on there. Pretty happy with that as an addition to the building. I think the one thing we, we understand is that this plan isn't perfect. This plan will probably change as we go. We feel that this plan, there's Mike working, we feel that this plan gives us the best opportunity to get going and work with the uh, with the, with the public and ensure that our facility is safe. Here we are standing in front of our other mural, which Jamie and Aaron Peerless did. Pretty stunning, really. And when you come in here, you'll really get an eye opener when you see that. So, we thank you for uh, watching the little guided tour. Again, another little, little look at the arena. You know, hopefully we'll all work together. We'll make this work. And if anything comes up that is concerning or you think needs to be changed, don't hesitate to contact us right away. Thank you.